We're telling a story about an Aries who is carrying a lot of baggage. And you're wanting someone, a Cancer, Scorpio, maybe a Pisces person, someone young and beautiful, man or a woman. It's like you're you're going along on your own, and you're and you're in your head, but you're but you're doing something. You're running, and you run a lot. You run marathons. You're running around in circles because you. You've got more on your plate than you should. Um, and in your head, you're thinking about this love. So you don't have love. You're alone. You're carrying your load alone. Carrying your load alone. Aries, carrying your load alone. Yeah, walking down a road just like this. I like this, sure. You know. In the Rider Waite deck, you, I think you can see they're going towards a town. You know, they're going towards a destination. It implies it's almost over, but it implies that you're maybe done carrying this load alone, and you're wanting to share your love, and also you're wanting to. This is not wanting. This is going back into the recent past and you making a decision that you really don't want your life just to be about work. So maybe you quit your job. Maybe you're one of those people that I keep hearing about. Why? Because you want your life to be about love. And it's not just love of a person, it's love of life. You, know, you want to wake up and feel like you love the energy you're in. You love. You don't want to go to somewhere else every day, particularly that you know is going to be unpleasant and difficult and challenging and unrewarding. And you're probably an impasse. It'll be draining too. It just absolutely drains your soul. I mean, this is draining the soul. You're just putting everything into it. And I get the feeling of you on the inside as you're walking down this road alone. You're just thinking like, I'm running so hard just to stay in place. Think of Alice in Wonderland if you want. As you're walking there. And then. Really get an idea of the setting here. Maybe you're in New Mexico. Why am I thinking of Breaking Bad? Thinking more along the lines of Saul here. <laughs> well, of course, his name's not even Saul. Well, what a character. Um, but yeah, look at the uh, Badlands. Mm. And so this is you. Literally, you, you put down this burden. Now you're now you're in the, you know, putting it down, and you started something new. Maybe start new actions without this burden. That's the Ace of Wands. And then you had a decision to make on which way to go. That's the two of wands. And maybe the decision was, do I stay alone? Or do I really look for uh, my person? Look for this other energy to come in. And um, that's the three of wands. It's, you know, looking for your ships to come in. So you go out. This is your story now. You go out and you, you start to look. You start to look. you're not finding you're not finding it's getting frustrating and you're saying to yourself at some point along here you may be telling your friend telling someone else you know family when they'll listen maybe to yourself saying out loud even this could be you know I just don't know I just don't know what to do I just don't know such a tough place to be in but there's some kind of journey here that you want to make and you're looking kind of off into the distance it's like you're, you're looking for a soulmate but I get the feeling like at some point back you know you all that's all you knew you just knew you wanted a soulmate Aries you didn't know where the soulmate might be and any earthly idea how to find a soulmate and you were just going I don't know but this energy is strong. And this is you taking actions now. 
very poor, you know, very Aries. You look at all these wands. You come with ten of wands. You dump those. You start back up with your wands. Actions moving forward now. You put a lot of energy into Aries, into work, probably, which would make sense, you know? Uh, with that kind of, with Ten of Wands, you know, you weren't screwing off. You weren't laying around at home doing nothing. Over a period, maybe 10 years, over a long period, you were doing a lot, putting a lot of energy in. And, you know, you just felt like you weren't getting back uh, enough. You wanted something more. You wanted love. Maybe you opened your heart in there somewhere. And that's, you know, when you open your heart, that starts a journey. When you open your heart, what do you do? You look around. You look around. Maybe what do you look for? Other hearts. But you don't always find them. <laughs> that song, I'm looking for a heart of gold, <clears throat> and I'm getting old. So, you're not uh, by any means giving up. And this is you. I think you're just kind of leaving everything. It's like you're putting all of your energy here, Aries, into this search, which is kind of driven, you know, for this love interest. And you're really going on fumes. You're pushing yourself. This is your energy. You're exhausted now. Um, you came in kind of walking, carrying this load. This is you walking somewhere. Maybe walking to check the mail, but just thinking in your head as you're walking about, you know, I really want love. What am I doing? What I want is love in my life. And then, my favorite card in the deck here, I find, um, is the King of Cups, because I think it looks like Jim Morrison from The Doors. I mean, don't you? I ain't comment. <laughs> yeah, it could be Jeff Bridges a little bit. That was like a white Russian in that cup. He's a dude. That kind of thing. And it's got the Pisces necklace here too. To keep in mind, this King of Cups. So finally, you. I mean, probably if you're driving, you've got fumes in your gas tank, and you don't even know where you're going to get money to put any more gas in. And then you find you're. This doesn't have to be a male. You're king. You're queen. Very most likely, it's Pisces here, Aries. Could be any water sign though, Cancer, Scorpio, but I'm thinking Pisces because of that necklace and judgment. <clears throat> this is being called up by the angels, called up uh, to some higher purpose here. And this uh, becomes some kind of conflict. Look at this king carefully now. You know, they they might love you, and um, but they. They're, they're in it for fun. That's a laid-back king right there. And you're finding that you, you put so much into finding this love, and here, here it is, you find. But somehow, it basically goes against your own um, sense of uh, dignity, uh, your own sense of self-worth, and somehow, I maybe they are not taking you seriously. Maybe they're not wanting to make a commitment. Maybe they don't want you to be their queen as it were, male or female, you know, the energy of it, they're, you know, they just kind of want to have fun. So it's like fifth house energy, romance energy, uh, fun sex in the fifth house. I think that's what you've got here. And you have to make a choice because you're being called up by spirit. And at, at some point, it's like you may almost hear this, you know, uh, in, in your own mind. Maybe you hear it somewhere else. Maybe you hear it here. Maybe the story is now. It's ongoing. I don't know. Uh, but this is clearly being like that would be you know come on there's more than this there's more aries than this here i mean this person's hot this king of cups i mean i'm, I'm not even gay i want to do one <laughs> it just got this massive charisma and everything like that but you're just here it's like this is not my you know this is not my path and you got to follow your path. And the beautiful thing about it is you're definitely choosing to do that. I mean, if you haven't, then you are and you will. Because this, and this is minor arcana, which is which nice to me because this is earning it. This is a lot of work, guys. <laughs> you took yourself down to nothing. You um, probably amassed a good bit to carry yourself in this journey. You thought you found what you were looking for. And what you found, Aries, I mean, this is pretty fucking corny. Sorry, but you found yourself. You found your soul. And you found your dignity. 
and you found that you were a real person, you were grounded, you were whole, the nine of pentacles is the happy bachelor. And in the end, when you look back on it, I mean, you are the wounded warrior. You put everything into this, everything. And what you got was not what you originally set out for. You got yourself out of this, Aries. That's what you got. That's the story here. You found yourself. Fuck, that's a happy ending in my book, guys. If you like it, please do subscribe. Hit the bell. Uh, I'll be doing Aries and Taurus as, as usual, always on Mondays. <clears throat> I do also have the couples read, the heart spread. That's for someone on your mind. And if you haven't, do check the soul family read. I do a daily collective read. More about uh, manifestation and uh, <clears throat> spirituality, guys. If you can think of anywhere that you might can share this, that, that might be interested in any kind of social media, please feel free to do that. Thank you for your help.